In today's video I'm uh, going to speak about the outer product of two vectors and how to implement this operation in assembly language. And if you remember for, from I think two times ago, uh, the video that I recorded then, uh, I am trying to build an artificial neural network entirely in assembly language and I think this is the last operation that I need uh, before uh, actually implementing it. So let's take a look. What's the outer product? So we have two vectors. These can be of different sizes. And the outer product results in a matrix. And uh, we have each element from the first vector is multiplied by each element from the second vector. So uh, in this, uh, in the first line, we have uh, the element, the first element from the first vector multiplied uh, with each element from the second vector. And then the second line we have the second element from the first vector multiplied with each element from the second vector, and so on. Yeah, so uh, the matrix size is m times n, uh, with m and n uh, being the respective sizes of the two vectors. So let's see how we can implement this in assembly language. And remember, I'm using uh, 32-bit floating point uh, numbers. So I'm going to use uh, x87 floating point operations. So I have in uh, RDI the address of the first vector, in RSI the address of the second vector, in RCX the size of uh, the first vector. This will correspond uh, to the line size or the number of columns in the matrix. In RDX, uh, the size of the second vector. And in R8, the output uh, matrix, so the address uh, for the output matrix. And there must be enough space uh, in there in order to store the resulting matrix. So uh, first, uh, as usually, I start by uh, saving the registers on the stack. So these registers will be modified throughout the function. And uh, at the end of the function, I'm uh, restoring uh, these registers. So let's take a look here. I'm um, starting by uh, well, I, I have two loops here. Uh, one loop is over uh, vector 2 and one loop is over vector 1. So uh, in the first, uh, let's actually look at the inner loop uh, over vector 1. Uh, it's uh, quite short. So what's happening first when we enter the vector, uh, when we enter the loop, we have uh, the element pointed by RAC from the second vector is on the floating point stack. So I'm duplicating this element with FFDST0, which basically loads uh, ST0 on the stack, so it duplicates the element. Uh, then I'm multiplying with the corresponding element from the first vector pointed by RDI. And, uh, and then uh, the result is stored in the matrix, so the address pointed by R8. And then we advance in the first vector, so we add uh, four uh, bytes to RDI, so four bytes corresponds to the 32-bit values. And we advance in the matrix, and we loop this uh, here, and uh, this will decrement uh, RCX. Uh, now at the end of the loop uh, we um, uh, pop the uh, ST0 from uh, the top of the floating point stack and this was uh, the element from the second vector. We also restore RDI RCX. We add uh, 4 bytes to RSI in order to move to the next element in the second vector. We decrement RDX, so this is the size of the second vector. 
and uh, if this is not zero we jump back to uh, this outer loop here and what happens now in this outer loop uh, we save rcx and rdi and uh, you saw here that we modified these values and uh, we restore them after the inner loop and we also uh, store the current element from the second vector uh, onto the floating point stack and that's it we again enter the inner loop uh, perform the multiplication and advanced uh, again to the next element and when everything complete uh, we restore the registers and uh, we return from the function so let's also take a look at a very simple uh, test file uh, so we have here vector 1 data vector 2 data uh, vector 1 has 3 uh, values vector 2 has 4 values uh, and uh, the resulting matrix uh, I'm uh, declaring it here uh, will have space for 12 values and this will be initialized with a 0 and uh, there will be uh, four rows and three uh, columns so let's take a look I'm um, first displaying the first vector I'm displaying the second vector I'm displaying a message saying result uh, and I am setting uh, the registers for calling the function the outer product so I'm setting in RDI uh, the address of the first vector, in RSI the address of the second vector, in RCX the size of the first vector, RDX the size of the second vector, and in R8 the address of the matrix. And then I'm actually calling the function. And finally I'm using the mat console write, which I described in previous videos. I will leave a link in the description to display uh, the matrix. So let's take a look at what's happening here. I've already compiled it. So we see the first vector, the second vector and the outer product and we see uh, each value from the first vector is multiplied by uh, value for, uh, from the second vector. Yeah, so we have first we multiply by one, so we have one, two, three. Uh, then we have uh, multiply by 2, so 2, 4, 6, multiply by 3, 3, 6, 9, multiply by 4, 4, 8, uh, 12. So I hope you enjoy this and uh, keep watching and uh, next time I think I will be able to show a basic neural network implemented entirely in assembly language using uh, these functions. Don't forget to like and subscribe to get notified. And see you next time. Bye.